your parents, you can see some features that you share with them. For example, your eyes, your nose, your dimples, and even the hand that you use when you write. Yung sharing ng mga features na to ay kayang explain ng what we call heredity. This heredity are the traits na naiipasa ng ating mga magulang sa atin or naiipasa ng parents from one generation to another. Pero, pag tinignan nyo naman ang inyong mga kapatid, although may pagkakahawig kayo sa mga brothers and sisters ninyo, pero meron pa rin kayong mga traits na makikita nyo yung differences among your siblings. At ang tawag naman natin dito ay tinatawag na variation. Pag sinabing variation, it demonstrates the differences among individuals. Genetics. Ano ba pag sinabing genetics? Genetics, genetics is the study of heredity and variation. At layunin ng genetics na to na mas maintindihan pa natin kung paano ba uh, naiipasa ang mga traits from one generation to another at kung paano ba nag-a-arise itong tinatawag natin na variation. Hello my dear students, kumusta kayo? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me again, Teacher Tim. Your science teacher for today. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science A. Welcome to week 3 of quarter 4 in Science 8. And for today's lesson vlog, what we're going to discuss is all about the stages of mitosis and meiosis. And we have two learning competencies for today's topic. Number one is to compare mitosis and meiosis and their role in cell division cycle. And milk number two is to explain the significance of meiosis in maintaining the number of chromosomes. Alam natin na ang, la ang lahat ng living organism ay nagre-reproduce. Yung mga nutrients na nakukuha ng bawat individual, ito yung nagpo-provide ng energy para sa growth and development pa at para na rin sa reproduction. May dinatawag tayong cell division. Yung cell division, ito yung cellular level of reproduction, ito yung nagpo-provide ng backdrop para doon sa organismal level of reproduction. And before we proceed with our main discussion or main topic about stages of mitosis and meiosis, let us have a brief introduction about cellular reproduction and genetics. So pag-usapan muna natin ano ba ang nangyayari bago magkaroon ng mitosis at ng meiosis. Chromosome DNA Interface Cell Division these are some words that you may encounter in today's lesson vlog. Ano ba itong mga to? Lahat ng mga living organisms ay nagko-contain ng mga tinatawag natin na genetic material. Itong genetic material na ito, ito ang nagsaserve ng meron silang mga set of instructions para mag-direct ng mga activities na ginagawa natin at ng mga functions ng ating cell. At itong tinatawag natin na genetic material, ito ang tinatawag natin na DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid kung saan ito yung mga traits na naiipasa from one generation to another or to the next generation for the continuity of life. In eukaryotic cells or dun sa mga cells na merong organelles, the DNA are bound to have proteins and are organized as beads on strings to form the what we call chromosomes. Okay, what you see in this in the screen is the organization of the DNA as genetic material. So, ito siya. This is the entire mitotic chromosome na merong length na 1,400 nanometer. Okay, ito siya. And this one, this is the condensed section of chromosome na merong sukat na 700 nanometer. However, this is the picture that shows uh, the section of chromosome in an extended form. And meron itong length na 300 nanometers. And this is the chromatin fiber of pack nucleosomes having 30 nanometer in length. At ito naman yung tinutukoy na beads on a string. At ito yung nagpo-form ng chromatin 
At ito naman ay may length na 11 nanometer. And ito naman, ang nakikita niyo ito, ito yung DNA na tinatawag natin. So, this is the short region of DNA double helix na merong 2 nanometer in length. Okay, ano ba pag sinabi nating nanometer? Anong katumbas ng isang nanometer? 1 nanometer is equivalent to 1 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. Tandaan nyo, class, na yung number ng chromosomes, ito yung mag-a-identify at magka-characterize kung saan klase ng species ba ito kabilang. Kunwari, kagaya natin, tayo, human, meron tayong 46 number of chromosomes. To give you idea, uh, bigyan ko kayo na example ng mga iba't ibang species na may kanya-kanyang number of chromosomes. Kagaya na lang ng common yeast. Ang common yeast ay mayroong 32 number of chromosomes. Ang roundworm ay mayroon namang 12 number of chromosomes. Fruit fly, mayroon naman yang 8 chromosomes. Bog ay may 52 chromosomes. Tayo, human, ay mayroon namang 46 chromosomes. Yes, yung normal na tao ay may 46 chromosomes. Rice has 24 chromosomes. However, corn has 20 chromosomes. Okay, let us now proceed with the cell cycle. Yung mga chromosomes ng ating mga cell, nagbabago ang forma niyan, depende sa pagbabago niyan uh, every time na nagkakaroon ng cell transition from one stage to another. Ang cell cycle ay nahahati sa dalawang stages. First, we have the interface and the second one is cell division. Okay, makikita niya dito sa figure na to yung cell cycle. Kitang-kita na mas mahaba yung part during dun sa stage ng interface kesa doon sa cell division. During the interface stage, ito yung panahon na yung ating mga chromosomes ay extended and long. At pagdating naman sa cell division, nagiging condensed and thickened itong mga chromosome. The interface refers to period that follows one cell division and precedes another. Sa stage na to, sa interface, hindi naman nagkakaroon dito ng division agad. Ano, hindi na hindi na divide yung mga cell, pero ang nangyayari, mas nag-grow ito. At yung chromosomes, mas nadodoble ito at nare-replicate nito yung sarili nito. Dahil meron tayong nga tayong tinatawag na DNA. During the interface period, meron tong tatlong stages. The G1, the S, and the G2. G1 is the first gap period, S it means synthesis, and G2 it means the second gap period. Okay, yung stage kung saan nagkakaroon ng formation ng bagong cell hanggang maduplicate ng DNA yung sarili niya, ito ang tinatawag na G1 or the first gap period. And remember, sa G1, this is the time that the cell initially grows. This stage is characterized by protein and RNA or the ribonucleic acid synthesis. RNA is synthesized by the DNA and is used to synthesize proteins. And yung second stage ng interface, ito yung tinatawag natin na synthesis or the DNA synthesis or replication. Ito naman yung panahon na yung mga chromosomes ay nadodoble. Nare-replicate at nadoduplicate bilang paghahanda sa kasunod na cell division. And the last stage of interface is what we call the G2 or the second gap period. Kung saan naman uh, ito ay papatak sa pagitan ng S uh, period at syempre ng cell division. During this second gap period, ito naman yung panahon na mas nagiging mabilis ang pag-develop ng cell bilang paghahanda sa cell division. And after the interface, dadako na ito ngayon sa second stage ng cell cycle which is the cell division. There are two types of cell division. The one, the first one is the mitosis and the second one is meiosis. And ito naman ang pag-uusapan natin sa ating next lesson vlog. So hanggang dito muna ang vlog na ito kasi introduction lang muna ito tungkol sa cell cycle. So see you on my next vlog. I hope you learned something from this. See you sa ating part 2 ng quarter 4 week 3. 
tungkol sa ating stages of mitosis and meiosis. So again, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science Talk.